It's a 2017 Mercedes Sprinter. High roof, long wheelbase. There is a longer version and a higher version, but uh, if you were to go longer, I believe then it's over a 3.5 ton van and you need a different license for that. And if I went any higher, I'll be hitting bridges. So it is what it is. It's still very big. So this is what you get if you park where somebody doesn't want you parking. At least I think that's the reason. Absolute bastard. So this is the before, 27th of February, 2023. <sighs> no work done. Day one of the van build. Oh, I'm excited. Hope you're excited. Otherwise, why are you watching this? See, so yeah, as I said, let me know. Do you prefer this smooth gimbal footage or does the handheld stuff appeal to you more? Or do you just not care? I'm just gonna go over some of the van asses to document it. I think it'll be quite nice to see the change as I progress in the conversion. I do like a good project. Now I've not done anything with cars or vans or vehicles or anything of that nature yet. So this is all new for me. So you can come and learn along with me or laugh along with me. <laughs> We shall see. It's already been a bit of a disaster. It's already been a bit of a disaster. You know, I bought it from a dealership, not at a cheap price, and straight away I had engine problems, add blue problems, all kinds of problems. So I guess you just can't predict these things. Okay, this time on the walkthrough, I'm just going to show you guys the floor a bit more. So I'm not sure what's underneath here. It's going to be interesting once I tear it all up. Pray for no rust. As I said, I'll be removing this bulkhead completely and putting in some swivel seats. So that should be pretty cool. So I think the last thing I've got record, well let's not open that, I might hit the wall. Um, the last thing that I've got record is that side door and the interior of the van. So I just went outside and had a look see. And I reckon I've got enough room Ooh, just about. Not just about. Easily. So I feel like the sliding door doesn't quite sit flush. Or maybe it's just the seal. So I have actually got a fresh seal for this side door. It's definitely needed. Oh, has my screen gone off? No, it's still recording. Um, it's definitely needed because if you look down here, Look at that. That's some rust going on there. That is not good. This is how the van looks inside. It's a mess. So it's just a basic model. 134,000 miles on the clock. This bulkhead is gonna be removed and these seats are going to be able to turn fully around so the length of the van will be one big living space open plan if you will 
So yeah, first things on the agenda is have a tidy up and get all my shit out of the van. So there's no fancy buttons, no dash cam yet. This was the camera that was fitted when I bought the van, but it seemingly wasn't connected to anything. So I think it was uh, the company that was using it before um, I had them connected up to, you know, their servers. Um, and I've got some new uh, camera equipment, camera equipment, new cameras, new dash cam to put on it. Um, all right, so I think, I've, I think that's my filming done for today. It's over a year since I bought this van, but the conversion has officially started. Let's see if this comes off. Always keep the screws, even if you're pretty shirt certain, certain that you never will need them again. Look, there's a nice little hole from them. Uh, I'm just gonna have a look at this on camera and see if it's recording how I want it to record. Probably looking at my ass quite a bit, so I might move the camera around. And then after a quick, quick little uh recording, I hate to say it again. Um, I'm gonna switch it to a time lapse. Right, I'm gonna switch to a time lapse now because this is boring video content. Right, so I'm looking at some of the footage I've just filmed. You can see in the back of my head, Barbara's mugged me right off. 